So if you're one of those pay-as-you-go customers who are simply paying through the nose for your consumption on Microsoft Azure, you have to stop it now. There is a much better way that's going to save you so much money. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through Achira's cloud procurement platform and how you can save yourself a packet. Stay tuned. This is a good one. here so nice to see you i really do appreciate you dropping by well on today's episode i'm talking cloud commitments now if you've had a look at the costing calculator in microsoft azure you'll know that you can make substantial savings over the likes of pay as you go well it works out there may be an, a better alternative now one of the issues that i have with the microsoft solution is that it requires a commitment of one or three years now, today I want to talk about Achira's cloud procurement and management platform. They have plans that simply start at 30 days. Now, if you have a cloud commitment traditionally with Microsoft, and let's say, for example, it's a three year migration project, but you find that the project maybe deviates and you end up finishing six months early, you've already committed that three year bundle of money and essentially you'll lose it. Well, with cloud commitment insurance, it's exactly the same deal, costs you exactly the same. The main difference is at the end of the two and a half years, you'll get that six months worth of cash back. And I do mean in cash. So in this demo, I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know about getting up and running with this cloud commitment insurance from Achira. For more details, check out the links below. Uh, and I hope you find this session useful. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I'm kicking off my demo here in Microsoft Azure, where everybody would begin. And of course, one of the first things that you're going to do is you're going to create your resources, whether it be your resource groups, your virtual machines, storage, SQL, whatever it's going to be. Uh, in terms of cost management, you might use the Azure Advisor. So the Azure Advisor does a pretty good idea. It gives you a pretty good look at what the you know, the overall costs. What you might also do is you might have a look at the pricing calculator. This is an awesome tool, by the way. And do remember that Achira's solution integrates with everything here. So once you've integrated Achira's platform, you'll have access to all of these resources. So the idea of the pricing calculator is you can choose the various services and functions of Microsoft. There's also some example scenarios. So if you're an architect, you're architecting out a solution this can be great again i can simply go ahead and say hey you know i want to have a look at that as an estimate so it shows me kind of the resources it also shows me what's included of course remember that within azure you pay for compute storage networking those are the main things that you pay for now the key thing is that you'll notice here with a pay-as-you-go solution it talks about the potential savings so as you can see pay-as-you-go is not a recommended solution and of course the big drawback is many companies especially in these financial times are reluctant to commit to a potentially one or a three-year commitment. And the key thing is, though, if you go ahead and you say, hey, I want to commit to a three-year, you can even pay up front, then that's a substantial chunk of money that you have to fork out. And of course, the key thing to note here is that if you finish this contract, you know, after two years, that's it. It's tough. You've paid the money. There's no refunds or anything coming here with this solution. So many customers end up going for that pay-as-you-go solution and, of course, end up paying through the nose, as they say. And this is where Achira's platform comes in. They have something called cloud commitment insurance. The key thing to note here is you just integrate this seamlessly into the Microsoft Azure portal. So all of these tools are available to you. Assuming that you've gone through that pricing calculator, you've got an idea of how much things are going to cost. You can come back into this actionable savings menu here in Achira. And it's showing you that at the moment, 
you've missed out in this example of over $27,000 worth of potential savings. And you can see here without any kind of optimization, your, your outgoings are really quite substantial. With the Achira optimization, it shows you not just how you can save money. In fact, Achira actually claimed that they can save you up to 15% on top of the odd 60 odd percent savings that Microsoft actually offer. And again, they have a number of different plans here. So you can have a look at their different payment plans. And of course, a lot of these actually just start from 30 days. And the really cool thing about Achira is that it's very, very flexible. So if you're coming into a plan or a project and you're not quite sure how long it's going to take, then you can say, you know, okay, we're going to go with a year. And of course you commit to a year. If it only takes six months, then you're going to get that six months of unused credit refunded as cash. It's a win-win scenario. And again, this set of tools here is absolutely completely free. So what we've also got is down here, we have something called the commitment planner, and this really does help with the life cycle. So what we've got is we've got three plans here and you can see you've got recommended, you've got the balanced and you've got the high savings plan. And it really talks about, you know, how long are you plan to commit for. So with that 30 day plan, you can see you can still make substantial savings. But again, as you go up through the year and the three year savings, then those savings really uh, kind of make an impact. And I'm sure from a financial perspective and even for planning, it's going to be super, uh, super useful as well. And also the other thing about planning as well is remember during the pricing calculator, you can also reserve those Azure instances like storage, compute, virtual machines, and so on. So that, you know, you might think, okay, I might not actually use these, but I'd like to have these resources in place. And again, this traditionally can be very costly, but reserving these resources early really does make financial sense and can save you a substantial amount in the long run. The other thing to mention as well is if you're not happy with any of the plans, you can also create your own as well. There is a, a custom option here too. So just to take a look at the, one of the plans, again, you can go in and you can have a look at the various details of it and it tells you all the costs that are involved. Again, it makes those recommendations and it shows you with the cloud commitment over the monthly savings that you're likely to make over that time. Breaks it down. So everything based on the project. And of course, you can then decide to apply the plan or go for that plan. Now, of course, what I'm showing you here is just a simple demo because I didn't want to expose my own live platform, obviously. But what I'd like to do is just mention that if I just pop over into Azure here, what you can do is simply go into the Azure marketplace. And if you type in Akira, you can see that this fully integrated into your own platform. And this tool is absolutely free. So there's no commitment, nothing. You can try it out and see what you think. Personally, I think it's a no brainer. So if you're looking to buy cloud resources, this tool is just going to save you so much time. And in the end, it's going to save you a lot of money as well. And there you have it, Achira's cloud commitment and procurement platform. Isn't that cool? Hey, listen, start saving money today. Seriously, guys, check out the links below. And I hope you found that session useful. Any questions, comments, as always, get those down below. And if you've not subscribed, you know what to do. Bump the subscribe button, ring that bell and come and join my learning community. That's it for this week. I really appreciate you dropping by. I'll see you soon. Take care.